Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Call me stupid. You must feel pretty stupid right now. I'll do anything stupid until I get back. Really stupid. Stupid. You're stupid. Stupid news. And your stupid news brought to you by Dr. Mink's Mobile Vet Care. Large and small animals, appointments, and emergencies. Call them at 438-4800. Check them out right there online at minxmobile.com. Stacey Lee, kick it up. Qualify stupid news by saying stupid and weird. All right. NBC claims a serial foot sniffer is prowling around the campus of Florida International University. The man, the man, excuse me, has been crawling under the tables at the FIU library hmm? and sniffing women's feet. Yow. The perv's been photographed in the act several times. Cops say the bald man is in his 40s. He weighs 200 pounds. He uh-huh. was last seen driving a scooter. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. Driving a scooter? He's bald, 40 scooter, and sniffing women's feet. <laughs> Did I say weird? Cops plan to charge him with lewd and lascivious behavior. <laughs> Well, here it is, the update. The Miami-Dade police arrested 52-year-old, he was 52 years old, Eddie Juan yesterday, spotted near campus before attempting to flee on his scooter. <laughs> I get to see him on his little scooter. I was mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Mm-hmm. Eddie crashed and was charged with fleeing and eluding, reckless driving, aggravated assault, wait, resisting wait. without violence, and <laughs> lewd and lascivious behavior. Say, he crashed his scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it up. And once again, yeah. did I have to mention it's Florida? Florida. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> All right, here's something just stupid, stupid. Mirror, mirror on the wall. The Janesville, Wisconsin police recently arrested Logan Douglas. He was taking a selfie. Uh-huh. Yep, he was posing in his bathroom mirror with a shotgun. What? <laughs> Doing a selfie with it. You know how they do it in the mirror? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, his gun accidentally discharged Uh-oh. and went into his neighbor's apartment. <laughs> well, Thank God no one was injured. Douglas yeah. was charged with endangering safety by use of a dangerous weapon and yeah, another selfie, dude. <laughs> wow, we've warned you guys that selfies are just a, it's just a recipe for death. It really is. All right, well, let's uh, move on to this. You know, when I'm working on the grill, that's my grill. Okay? You don't mess with another man's meat when he's grilling. <laughs> the third day of the Kentucky State Barbecue Festival was in Danville, Kentucky on Sunday, about 30 miles south of Lexington. And a 42-year-old named Mike Owings was working as a barbecue pit master, which is an awesome title, by the way. But at some point, Mike and another pit master got into an argument over a smoker that they were supposed to be sharing. Uh Uh-oh. And the fight ended with Mike grabbing the other guy's huge beef brisket, taking it off the grill, and hucking it. Unfortunately, Mike was... Well, he pretty much has a decent arm because the brisket ended up flying through the air and hitting a woman in the head. If any man dares to grab my brisket, (laughs) he's going down. Which sounds funny, but get this. She suffered, number one, burns to her head, neck, and shoulders. Oh, no. Police are saying the meat was between 200 and 250 degrees when it actually hit her. Uh, Mike is facing charges for second degree wanton endangerment. (laughs) By the way, this lady was just an innocent bystander. She was standing like 200 yards away. Lord. And when he, yeah, she (laughs) hucked that thing 200 yards. Didn't even have time to cool down before it hit her in the neck. Wow. (laughs) Hey, a couple of friends in China are in the news this morning because they really wanted the new iPhone 6S. And who doesn't? Right. Their names are Wu and Wang, and they don't really know much about uh, their personal details, but we do know that they didn't have enough money to get their new iPhone 6S, so they came up with a sweet plan. They'd sell their kidneys in order to buy a couple of phones, (laughs) and apparently that's pretty common there because the rate of organ donation is low, and that means there's a black market for them. They set up a meeting with a guy online to sell their organs illegally, and he arranged some medical tests at a hospital, but when they showed up on Saturday to do the deal, the guy bailed. On his scooter? (laughs) Probably. (laughs) It gets a little more shady. Apparently, Wu lost his nerve and decided a new phone wasn't worth giving up half his body's ability to filter blood. But Wong? Well, he said he wanted that phone, damn it. And kept on going with the plan. (laughs) 
So Wu, being his best friend, called the cops to stop the sale. Maybe he came uh, to his senses and wanted to protect his buddy. Except Wong Damn ran it. away. Hasn't been seen since. No word on his kidney. The kidney's probably still intact. You couldn't, yeah, they couldn't get a doctor to actually take him out and hand him over for that iPhone 6S. And like I said this morning, people here in the great U.S. of A., we know it isn't a kidney they want. It's an arm and a leg that they need. <laughs> you can lop those things off. You can get yourself an iPhone 6S. <laughs> it's an arm and a leg. It's all we need. <laughs> And that's how they wound up on the batch of stupid news for you this morning.